Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Jason. This is the XSTAR SP100. If you haven't heard of XSTAR, they put out a bunch of battery chargers and flashlights. And well, this is the first solar panel that they've released. And when I heard that they were coming out with this and they wanted to send it out, I was pretty excited because I've actually had a couple XSTAR battery chargers and they work really well. Now, I was very impressed with the build quality. This is very durable, lightweight at the same time, and it actually has these magnets that hold it together, so it's very easy to open it up. During my extensive testing, this actually puts out more power than what it's rated, so this beats any other 100-watt solar panel I've tested on the channel. Hope you guys are excited. Let's just dive right into it. So the first thing you'll notice is this large blue handle. Now there are built-in magnets that hold it tight whenever you're carrying it around. So you don't have to deal with Velcro or straps. It comes apart really easily when you wanna use it. The next thing you'll notice is this large zipper pocket. Once you open that up, you'll see a 10 foot cable that has 14 gauge wire, so you're not gonna get any voltage drop. And then on the end is an eight millimeter connector, so you can use that with Jackery, Goal Zero, Blue Eddy power stations, or any other power station that takes eight millimeter input. Now, if you don't have a power station that has eight millimeter input, you can easily pick up an adapter and adapt to what you need. Now another great feature about this solar panel is it comes with these two adjustable kickstands. Now they have a piece of Velcro that holds them down tight so they don't flap around if you're not using them. And they have three adjustable positions. Now this works best in the winter, the spring or the fall when the sun is really low in the sky and you need to angle this to get the most efficiency. In the summer you probably won't use the kickstands much but it's really nice to have them built into this panel. Now on each of the corners of this solar panel is a metal grommet. Now this allows you to either hang it from you know, the side of your vehicle or if you have this sitting on the top of the roof when your car is parked, it's nice to be able to tie it down so if a big wind comes, it's not going to blow it away. So there's multiple uses for these metal grommets. Now this solar panel has an ETFE coating, which is almost 100% permeable to UV rays for maximum efficiency. It's stain resistant and kind of has a non-stick surface to it. So if you have any dust or grime on there, it comes off really easily with a damp towel. It's also scratch resistant, so you won't damage the cells underneath. Now, whenever I get a new solar panel like this, I always like to compare it to existing solar panels I already have. So let's go ahead and take this outside and compare it to two other 100 watt solar panels and see how it performs. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some solar testing on the XTAR SP100. Now I'm gonna test it on both my lithium iron phosphate battery and on the Blue Eddy EB70. I have plans to compare it to some other panels today. Let's go ahead and get started. We're getting 108 watts in on the battery and it's sitting around 17.7 volts and a little over six amps. Now, this is a 100 watt panel and it's overproducing. Now that's pretty rare to see a panel that overproduces its rated power. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna test this now on my EB70. It has an eight millimeter plug right off the solar panel, so super easy with the Blue Eddy EB70. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. We're getting 113 watts input from this 100 watt solar panel. So this is a pretty high bar now. Um, let's go ahead and see what the SunPower Flex 50s do, and I'll, maybe I'll test it with a Rock Pals 100 watt panel as well. So let's go ahead and start those tests. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and test my Sun Power Flex 50s in parallel. Now these usually produce right around 49 to 50 watts in perfect conditions. Let's see what we're getting today. Okay, so we're seeing about 94 to 95 watts input on these Sun Power cells. It's right around 16.2 volts at 5.8 amps. Let's go ahead and test this on the EB70. Okay guys, we're getting around 96 watts, 97 watts input on the EB70. So a little bit more than what we were seeing on my other MPPT solar charge controller. Okay, so the last panel I want to test against the XTAR 100 is this Rock Pals RP082. It's a 100 watt folding solar panel. Let's see what output we're getting on it today. Okay, so the Rock Pals we're seeing around 83.5 watts input. It's sitting around 18 volts and 4.6 amps. Okay, so on the EB70, we have it plugged in. We're getting 88 watts input. So what do you guys think of those testing results? Now seeing 113 watts on this panel definitely is pretty awesome. It's putting out more power than what it's rated. And that's really rare with a solar panel because usually they'll put this max, you know, imaginary number and you'll never hit it. The closest I've ever gotten to hitting a rated capacity was with the SunPower Flex 50s. And that's why I didn't include them in this test because they usually do really well. Now we saw 113 watts on this and we saw 96 watts on the SunPower Flex 50s and we saw 88 watts on the Rock Pals. Now, each of these has their different uses. The Rock Pals is super compact, so it's really nice to have a solar panel that's really, really small. So it didn't put out as much power, but it's really small. Now the SunPower Flex 50s are super lightweight and 100% waterproof. 
So, you know, they have their use, but they don't have the kickstands. They scratch very easily because they don't have an ETFE coating. I've scratched mine and I've talked about that in previous videos. It's really annoying to scratch the panels. And then when it comes to this one, you get the most power, you get the kickstands, and you have the ETFE coating. So, you know, you'll have to choose which one works best for you, but I was very, very happy to see a total power input of 113 watts on a 100 watt panel. Now let's go ahead and talk about pricing on this panel. Now this has a lot of features, really high build quality, comes in at $269. Now I do have a $30 off coupon to bring the price down to $239, and I think it's totally worth it at that price point. So check the video description down below for the link and the discount code to check out this solar panel to see if it works right for you. Now for two SunPower Flex 50s, those come in at $86 each right now. So if you wanna buy those, you're gonna be paying around $172. And the Rock Pals RP082, the 100 watt panel, that one comes in around $205. So now they're all priced within $50 of each other. So they're very competitive. Now, if you wanna see the most power in on your power station or battery, I definitely recommend this XTAR SP100. Now, not only did XTAR send out their SP100, but they also sent out this brand new DC to DC USB charger. Now this is the EU4S. It has an input range of 10 to 24 volts. Now on one side, you have an input port that's a 7909 or very similar to the eight millimeter. And on the other side, you have four USB ports. So this has an MPPT controller in it. So as you have that voltage coming in from a solar panel or from a 12 volt source, you can actually have four additional USB ports to charge your devices. Now on the USB side, you have three USB-A ports. One's a quick charge 3.0. The other two charge at a 2.4 amp rate. And then you have a really cool type C power delivery 45 watt output. So I see this being really useful. If you need additional USB ports, you can use the included 12 volt socket to eight millimeter uh, cable, plug this into your power station, plug this into your car and get four charging USB ports. So if you're on a road trip and you wanna charge up your laptop and you don't have an AC inverter around, you can use this to charge up your laptop as long as it has a type C power delivery port. The other benefit is a lot of solar panels will come with one port on them, but as long as you have the recommended 100 watt input on this, so if you have a 100 watt solar panel, you can add an additional four USB ports to that solar panel so you can charge up four devices instead of just one. But overall, through my testing, this has been a really cool device and it's super useful because it takes the input of a solar panel or the 12 volt socket cable. Now, before ending the video, I thought it'd be helpful to give you guys a couple final thoughts about these devices. Now, is this solar panel right for you? If you're looking for a solar panel with a really high build quality, with really efficient sun power cells and more than its rated output, I would recommend purchasing the XTAR SP100. Now, if you're looking for a DC to DC USB charger, you can't go wrong with this. This has been really useful. And I didn't even know these existed before uh, they sent one out. So it's nice to know that I can have uh, USB charging on the go, whether I'm in my vehicle with a power station or with a solar panel, I can have these additional USB ports. Now, of course, if you guys are interested in picking both of these up, I have a bundled discount code. So if you guys are interested in either one of these by themselves or together, or maybe even two of these, I do have some additional discount codes so check the video description down below now if you guys have any questions about either of these products just throw a comment down below and i'd love to get back to you thanks for watching guys we're going to end the video here we'll see you guys in the next one